All right, hello everyone. We are live with a TTS Season 12 Top 16 game. I've got Schmid in the, on the red side versus Steven Loops Lounge on the blue side. So we've got Schmid bringing a Convocation list with Crimson Dynamo, Ultron, Rhino, and Lizard. And against him is Steven's... What am I seeing here? I'm seeing a Red Skull 1 list. All right, pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to let the players know we're live. Joining me today on commentary is Shadow Marvel. How's it going, man? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Third stream today. <laughs> so. Oh, you're uh, going to sleep all tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's been quite the day. It's been a lot of fun so far. And this game is really exciting. We're seeing really two really cool lists here. Convocation versus Red Skull. What do you think of uh, the teams? It is uh, unexpected to see a old school cabal list making it into the cuts, and I love to see it. All right, so let me just see here. Are we getting a getting a prior roll? Oh, quite the roll! <laughs> All right, so who won here? We got Schmid. Wow, yeah, quite the roll is right. Yeah. All so right then. Demons, intrusions, scoundrels, hammers, extremists, scrolls. And let's see what he's looking at the other side. Struggle, spider infected, scrolls, scoundrels, infinity, very, diff very meteors. different stuff. Yeah, the secures are pretty different for the most part, but uh, they were saying uh, I was listening to the Size Three Taco Truck podcast, and they were saying how scoundrels was like by far the most taken secure and you know what a lot of lists that pop out here in the league we're also saying that seeing the same thing a lot of scoundrels um which is yeah. surprising i i think i i would imagine that a lot of people would feel that they would worry about certain matchups on scoundrels yeah i um it's it, it is inter interesting but i think like the cover like helps protect your little weak model i don't know like there's a lot of safe you safety in the mission it does score fast so it like is anti attrition to some degree and then we've got, but we have intrusions and scrolls. So we're playing a 19 or 20 point game. This is going to be lots of models across the board here. Going to be juicy. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the opposite of an anti-attrition. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is really cool. All right, so let's see what, we'll figure out what threat they're bringing here. But Red Skull 1 is, uh, is pretty interesting. We don't see too much of that in uh, these, in these games. All? Yeah, yeah. Like at all. I don't think I've ever. Last... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, when did you last stream Red Skull 1? <laughs> yeah this is wild you know what i've been uh a few people have come up with the idea of like an unkillable list kind of thing where it's like red skull Hel red skull hella um and we have ultron and bob as like some sort of uh, as a baseline so that none of your models are uh killable except for red skull who can like pass attacks into the grunts <laughs> right uh, yeah but, uh, i don't know if he had the full kit there to run that but uh it's either way that cosmic invigoration and i'm sure we'll be seeing that it's a very powerful card yeah. lets you activate a model twice, and uh, we also have the uh, Dark Rain, and we have the uh, what else do we have in, in Red Skull Cabal leaders? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, there's lots of uh, different things you can do with with that. So it'll be interesting to see what he brings to the table. Now, my question is, I mean, I guess it, it doesn't really matter once we see things. Maybe it won't even be a thing. But I wonder with Cosmic Invigoration. If he brings Ultron, I'm pretty sure you don't get double grunt activations. Yeah, because it would. I think it just removes the activation token off of a character, right? Yeah. So correct. Logic yes, seems... I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I I don't know the actual ruling on it on the forum, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's that's how that would work. Yeah, it, it seems like it'd follow the same logic if you had like Daredevil and Elektra in your list, uh, with the the like the Daredevil Shadowlands, and you activated one of them. Like that, it feels like it's very similar to that kind of thing. Right. Exactly. They 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 activate when the first parent activates. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. You should be an accuser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, this is. Uh, I wonder what threat they brought here. We've got. Uh, scrolls and we do have some safe grabbing options from Schmidt here so he might be able to take one of these side scrolls with Doctor Strange and we have this board set up in a way where uh, this is really interesting because there's a definitely a clear blocking safe grab uh, it's tricky this this scroll with the fire truck is a, a very tricky deployment option for the sure. blue side 
Yeah, which I'm sure. Well, I guess I guess he chose, but he might have chose that. I mean, if he was expertly knew the maps to know that if he grabs the scroll by the police car, that it's like almost impossible. You can't push him into the you know past the, the midpoint. But they both also brought Bill. I mean, I don't know if they brought bringing them, but they both have Bill in their in their list. So they they have they have ways of handling these scrolls. Yeah. The, uh, we do have Convocationist tends to run uh, lighter on the physical defense, so that's one thing that scrolls doesn't work uh, in their favor as much. But um, yeah, so versus Red Skull, I know he's got a four physical. We've got the teams coming out now, and we oh, have baby. whoa! Look at this Red Skull team. This is very spicy. Here we got Red Skull one with Claw? Ultron, Claw, and Ulic, all Cabal players. Claw with that spicy uh, sonic shockwave beam. And, I have never uh, seen Claw on the table. <laughs> we've got Dark Rain, Rock and Troll, Age of Ultron, Recal, Advanced R&D. He's only opted to bring one uh, restricted card here. And we have on this other side, well, look at this. We've got Doctor Strange, Voodoo, Wong, and then Splashing with Lizard and, uh, and Ultron. So both players brought Ultron here. We've got Sacrifice and Brace for Convocation with Ironbound Books, Age of Ultron, Bane of Dumbala. This is the card that can spread root. If you get a, a hit or a rile, or, or wild, you can spend one power and just hit a bunch of characters with root. Very uh, interesting here. Ultron is uh, the, is uh, looking like he's one of the favorites out of the core box. Seems like it. Or at least for people who want to... I mean, it makes sense for Convocation because of the clear synergies. And, uh, well, it also... Makes sense if you're running a Red Skull 1 <laughs> uh, led team because you can't run Red Skull 2. Yeah, yeah, the grunts uh, kind of mess things up a little bit. Um, yeah, the uh, I mean, you could. It just you were not getting the full the full kit, right? So, right. Uh, well, it's just it's just you just legitimately also just can't like do it because <laughs> there's two Red Skulls. <laughs> oh, so you're saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, totally fair. Yeah, the Red Skull. Uh, <laughs> Red Skull is great in a lot of places, but yeah, definitely uh, you have to make some tough choices. That's same with like Hydra and Zemo. It's like I want to build a Hydra list with like a Zemo to the new Zemo, and it's like all right, well, I want to play Zemo as well. I <laughs> just, oh man, I wish there was another character that was a long moving charger with a reroll attack that you could play in Hydra instead of the original Zemo because uh, he's so good. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, you you got Viper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she technically is there. Right? there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so we've got uh, they're starting to deploy here. Um, nothing makes sense. Yeah, nothing lizard on, crazy. Li lizard on the li lizard on the south side, so that he because again he's got that fire truck there. Pretty pretty safe. Uh, with with priority if he tries to grab that from any kind of any kind of punishment. Yeah, that's um this is interesting too because uh, what we could even see is um so Rhino's yeah, Rhino's protected over there, but like Ultron could potentially or like uh, even Doctor Strange I guess, but probably Ultron could end up grabbing the opponent's scroll here um on the car to protect himself. I don't know if you mentioned that. I think you mentioned something about that, but uh Schmid could grab it and he could also use his grunts to basically block potentially body block um the uh steven from being able to grab the opposite scroll like Sh uh, schmid's scroll on his side or make it very uncomfortable to be able to grab it maybe not be able to grab it while on the secure i don't think that i mean it at least doesn't look like steven is playing the aggressive <laughs> the aggressive uh scenario play he's looking to probably play the aggressive murder all of the characters play which is not going to be easy to do i don't think against these guys these this team yeah, especially with uh, uh ironbound books constantly getting procked up yeah that is that is a good point there's uh energy attacks from from ulik and uh and ultron to well, i guess they all have energy attacks so they can kind of get around the books a little bit but uh yeah this uh this is really interesting going four wide here Against Schmid's, like, five, I mean, four and a half versus five and a half, really. Yeah, and it was probably intentional for the for the energy attacks. But I, I think I think Steven's last match was a game where he 
table the other opponent. Uh, and I don't think that tabling is on the menu with age with Ultron right. on the board. So he's got he must have some other plan available to him besides just straight murder. Because otherwise, I feel that Schmidt could uh, run away with the scenario play. Yeah, I um, yeah, I agree. I think yeah, that Age of Ultron really messes up any team looking to table. It's like almost impossible to to be able to do that. So we here we go with a lizard grab, and you wouldn't be a competitive MCP player if you forgot about the. Uh, deployment snap oh yeah absolutely that's just something that has to happen nowadays <laughs> all right so let's <laughs> yeah exactly let's start grabbing the, the scroll here let's see if he hits the rule for four physical so uh there's a good chance he will uh just be sitting there he's on the the scroll is also hiding the intrusion portal so he's getting yeah. both he's getting the the extract and the secure if he doesn't move and he does no, get pushed he's so moving. he's moving yeah <laughs> So yeah, the, the uh, key is to push them. I mean, Steven's going to just push him off the secure. Yeah, because he can't do anything about him this round. So it's just just remove that VP from his side. Yeah, that's right. I, I guess like one key thing we'll, we'll, we might see is like Red Skull porting up a character potentially. It'll allow him to, uh, to take a move action, hit the portal, and then get an attack action off. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Oh, we're seeing, we're yeah, seeing it go right now, actually. Yeah, targets. We're seeing it go. And he rolls one skull, takes a damage, gains three power. Well, it makes sense to go first with him. His his activation is the least valuable. He can port up the person, and then they can respond, activate when they want to. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does make me nervous about not picking up an extract immediately, um, because now it could be a three-one grab here. That wasn't that cost an action to gain that three power. So I'm I'm worried about the order of these things happening. I mean, again, you know, I, I got to imagine Steven's game plan is mostly <laughs> is is mostly to murder. If yeah. it make it to if not to table, which I don't think is very plausible, uh, at least it allows him to be able to uh, it make them not score as fast because they're just not scoring because their bodies they find they're they're dazed. They cannot hold on to things that when they're dazed. That's right. All right, so we're seeing advanced R and D being played here he's giving power to hold on is that what am i seeing is that what i saw i saw him flip the card how did he how did he attribute uh did he, he gave he... he gave them each a power but oh no sorry he ported himself up no he ported what up uh he ported up claw and no. then he claw didn't to... move at all claw oh hold on where's claw sorry claw's over here oh he's very, behind the ambulance, he's, by the ambulance. Yeah, yeah, okay. he's never heard this dm he's a, yeah. he's a paper cut out <laughs> so, okay and he oh, gave his last oh, power to, to ulek okay i see now so he can do his rock and troll he's about to rock and troll all, all of uh all of uh almost all of his steven's team is paper cutouts so it's hard to yeah, see yeah. If, you're at the, if you're at the wrong angle they're they're two-dimensional well, i gotta tilt it a little bit but yeah that's right that's right <laughs> <laughs> They're all paper cuts, yeah. Oh, it looks like he's thinking about getting that. Oh no, they, they're drones. What are they doing? They're, they're just they're just moving to shoot, moving to get in the way of things. So, do you think that Ultron afterwards is going to be aggressive and try to steal that scroll? Try to go for some yeah. level of a three to one, four to four or zero on the extracts. I think so. I think that's uh, he has eight health to chew through. Seems like quite the quite the thing. So looks like we're getting a the Ultron bots within range two of Red Skull because if they blow up, Red Skull is going to be taking that collision damage. So and he might be yeah. moving them to block the point as well as to prevent. Oh, no, he's picking up his home call. I was going to say he was going to move him up to the point to prevent how, what angle Ultron could be pushed if he gets pushed as he's being pushed right now. Yeah, that is uh, interesting. So he does have another action, so he's going to recuperate here. So there we go. Back now onto the point. Uh, these these big base models or these medium base models can't fit on this car. So if... Um, if Schmidt puts one more model on the on this portal, it means like no one can even get there. None of these medium based characters could even tell, hit that portal uh, with that. So we've got Claw going now. He's got yeah. a uh, he's got someone's got someone's got to grab something. Yeah. So 
it looks like after all this, we might see a parody on Extracts just because uh, there's not really a comfortable grab by Doctor Strange. I don't know if you want Doctor Strange anywhere near Ulick with that that uh, rock and troll coming on. Uh, yeah, probably not. But maybe he maybe he feels fine. Maybe he feels safe. The fact that he can't be pushed towards Ulick. Like if he go if if he measured it properly and gets and can get strange right on there the worst that could happen is he gets pushed towards lizard and that's away from a ulic mm, six dice i'm looking at his card claws card now six dice builder energy with wild suppressive crit wild stun i mean it's pretty sweet yeah it I, is really sweet seven health if you can pay two to heal two Pay three, a character ends an activation within three, you can push them away. Like, well, let's see how interesting, uh, let's see if this gets any uh, use, this game. It'll I be really cool. I guarantee you every time he does something with Claw, I'm going to be like, what's he doing? Oh, wait, I got to look at this card. What is this card doing? <laughs> when this character is targeted by a physical or energy attack or makes a dodge roll, after the effect is resolved, he gains a power. So he's got that, uh, New Carol also has something similar to that. Uh, except uh, it's, it's for all attacks. Yeah. It, uh, New Carol, well, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, it's well, that's Carol if she takes damage. She's got yeah. she's got the or ornery thing going. And what's so what's the difference here? Oh, so he doesn't have to it's, even take damage. Yeah, okay. No, it's just once he gets targeted or makes a dodge roll. Cannot be pushed or advanced by energy attacks or enemy superpowers, so he can still be placed by Doctor Strange's correct uh, range three. Uh, Ultron, Ultron is also the same thing. He cannot be advanced or pushed. So, so Doctor Strange is. Uh, what things can Doctor Strange like? What things prevent Doctor Strange from being able to do that? There's very. Few, there must be very few things. Um. Uh, well, I think what is the Shield Mind? Is that the one that does that? The um, the Emma Frost and Jean Grey. I think. I don't know. These are the characters I don't play. We're seeing uh, Ultron. We're seeing Ultron dive the opposite side here. So the, we've got the grunts all like tied into the middle here. <laughs> Maybe we'll see lots of a uh, little bit of bot explosion for that little that extra damage splash damage. They're getting in there. Okay, so we've got the roll. He fails the roll. He's going to get pushed. Everyone, everyone has everyone has failed the roll except for Claw. I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Ironically. Uh, yeah, and it is shield mind. Shield mind, that that stop. prevents placements. Nice. It just doesn't. Okay, so it doesn't stop. Uh, place it. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to like. I'm trying to understand the difference here. So these ones are. They cannot be pushed or advanced. Yeah. So these are, shield these are, mind these are, is also. Does that also advance? Uh, that so, one stops. I don't think so. I think pushes and places. Stops advanced, placed, and push. Oh, it does all of them. Okay, so this is this is slightly weaker than shield mind. Correct. Although shield mine requires power, and this just is. What just happened? What was that tab? I was looking at shield mine. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, I have got to get caught up here. Yeah, I, I I wasn't sure what was happening too. I I heard a tab, but I was looking at the shield mine card. Okay. Uh, nothing. N nothing has happened that uh, happened. was worth noting. It looks like we've got Ule Ulik still threatening that rock and troll. Voodoo is looking to put push some damage through into uh, Claw, potentially mm -hmm. with a. He really wants to get that double hit roll, but he's also positioning himself Voodoo in uh, in a way where if he does get pushed at the end of Claw's activation. It's not going to be anything significant. It looks like that's he's like anti. He's preventing that yeah. if it does happen. Right, because oh, it's away. Big hit. Whoa, that's a good. Uh, you see a lot of crits. And, uh, and they don't convert though, so we're seeing two, only convert. two. No throw. No throw. Voodoo failed. Uh, what? Well, but he still gets uh, what three power off of that. Because of the skull, so it's not not bad. It's good, and Ultron, good or sorry, uh, Claw gets Claw should get an extra power, right? Is this something we should be calling out on the players? Uh, is it depends. And oh, it's, uh, no, it's Mystic. It's Mystic. So no, yeah. he doesn't get the the bonus. 
and it is it is a it is not a may so it is a mandatory all right so yeah we should uh, keep our eye on that if that happens but yes this is all new to us the uh <laughs> right I, I mean i have to look at this card. like i'm literally I, I need to have this card next to me and i've never seen claw on the table <laughs> i think I've, I've spectated a game once where it's uh where it's happening so you look at his choosing this his targets he's rock and trolling Going after Voodoo. Uh oh. Yeah, Voodoo is uh, vulnerable here. Two six dice attacks. Um, they could potentially do a lot of hurt. Yeah. Oh well. They. I assume he's. I assume he only. He only can get one. It depends what the first one does because he can bounce away with the leadership. Oh I yes. Assume the yeah. leadership is on. on right. The side Let's see how much damage he top. pushes through. Oh, looking like no damage. And no damage. That means he doesn't get to bump. Look at that. Two attacks. Yeah. Uh, there you go. All according to plan here. Getting well, two... I mean, that's also a good response. You take one potential attack with damage. This way, he doesn't have to move. Although, I guess maybe he wanted to get the bump so he could move. He could bump into range of the the objective. Yeah, potentially. Now we have a wild push. We got five into three. So taking two, uh, we're gonna see the wild push, and then we're gonna see the bump uh, on the leadership if he uh, remembers. If, if either he, player, right. if both players remember <laughs> these things. If he elects to. He also might not elect to. It's not just about memory, you know. There's yeah. plenty of times people think I miss, uh, got your back, you know, you got your back triggers, but sometimes you just, it's not good. You don't that want it. That is fair. Ulik with three power now does have a terrain throw, I believe, right? I think that's a size four terrain throw on his card. Pay three power for, for a bad manner. Size four within two, throw at medium. Yeah, he could do that. But uh, he's uh, looks like he threw him out of range to do that. Yeah, it wasn't that close. Pushed him out of range. Probably not worth it anyway at that point. You don't want to give Voodoo too much power. It is unlikely that the terrain... Although now I could throw it at him. It's I th unlikely I mean, that... you, you make him burn... He's measuring it. I think you make him burn Brace yeah. immediately. Because you have Ultron. You have Ultron with a size 4. You've got Ulik with a size 4. And Red Skull can also throw in a spender. I feel like uh, this. Uh, yeah, I think. I mean. I true. think I would consider definitely consider this. It's true. And he did place his. What's the what's the range on Ultron's throw? Is that medium? Right. Let's see. Three. So he put he placed himself his Ultron right so he can grab that fire truck to the south. Oh, that's turn. nice. Yeah, very very clever. Good positioning. Yeah, looks like looking like he's burning it. And uh, Voodoo would have to. Would have to blank this roll though to to die. So yeah, that's the he's question. That... Or he's he's rolling it because uh, he's thinking he can get a block here, and he does. Yeah, living and on he, one. And he can bump. Uh, he once per turn block. though, right? So oh, is it think... once per turn? Yeah. Yeah, it's once per turn. Unfortunate. So Ulik uh, can't. So the one thing that's good about this for Schmidt is that Ulik can't. Um, he can't attack with Ulik without taking a move action next turn because he has he'll only have two power and you need three power for that uh, crushing leap ability so let's see what dr right. strange does with his uh, with his turn here he's lo looking like he's probably going to want to attack get some get one pi point of damage and then uh and then teleport some characters away from the his well, he's already got, he's already got the power to teleport because he got it from Wong. oh okay nice uh, yeah that's probably what we missed. Yeah, we missed there the we go. Activity. <laughs> yeah. uh, or he spent four power on something. Oh well, uh, this is a reroll, so that's a uh, good. Mm -hmm. You can reroll your full whiffs, and there's and a just, conversion. That's a that's a good that's a good conversion. I don't know who he attacked because you know you know Let's when see. you're playing your games out there, attacked, you gotta uh, hit this yeah claw. I saw claw. him tab cl claw so. The one thing now is that Claw has enough power to push Strange away. Um, oh, so he spent all four power so he could do a two attack. So he's hoping to push a little more damage through. And he's going to get two more damage through here, so you probably keep it. You probably keep that roll so you uh, can now displace someone. And you probably displace uh, Claw, maybe? The, the thing is, is that if you leave Claw within three of Strange, Claw could use his power to push Strange away. I don't know if that's good or bad, but 
it's a thing that could happen. So he's opting to push Ulik away. Yeah, that's that. I mean, I think that's the play because you know Ulik. You know, again, he, you, you got to worry about where he can move. Crushing leap is three power, like you said. He's only gonna get two. So now Ulik is. He's gonna have priority going into the turn, and he wants to give decisions for Steven to make because. You have Voodoo sitting there on one, and if you don't take care of Voodoo at the top of the round, you're going to probably have problems. But at the same time, if he does it with Ulick, it's going to be, you know, Ooh. he's going to be, it's not going to be the most effective uh, attack, essentially, because right. he's got to move and then attack. Yeah. And that's all he's doing. So we have a 3 3 tie here with two, with a. Who has these? This extract. There, there's uh, an extract that's not being reported. I think uh, it's yeah. Ultron on on Schmidt there because we it's go. probably sitting on a, a grunt or something. Yeah. So we have two and two, and they both have one secure with Schmidt having this uh, this middle one, and Stephen having this side one here with with Claw. We have Ironbound books played for this opening round. Which you means better that, believe it. Yeah. So physical <laughs> attacks will be energy defense for Schmidt. Yes. We're uh, seeing... Oh, physical, a, physical attacks will become mystic attacks. Yeah, sorry, yeah. So we have a uh, Claw paid two power to heal himself too. And now we're seeing yeah. a, a six dice energy into Voodoo, which is looking like it's punching enough through. That's a pretty good punch. And Voodoo is... Um, Date. What's happening here? What's he paying for? Okay, well, he's dazed now. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Claw, and now his claw's looking to put into Doctor Strange here. Two energy attacks, so I think uh, so far so good for for Claw being pretty yeah, effective. Yeah, I mean, there's not too much the books do. It really is just against Ulick because everyone else is attacking with energy. Like, you know, there's yeah. not much else you're going to expect. I guess uh, Gull as well, if he decides to do his strike. Okay, we're playing Dark Rain. Oh, look at that. That's pretty... Uh, it's, right now, we're playing Dark Rain into Doctor Strange. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's an interesting... To do. I guess at this point, Books is just essentially always going to be online. Six dice because... full reroll, and he's getting... Uh, he's got... Four successes here. This is a big roll. Big roll for both of them. Holy moly. And he's got the wild conversion. So it's looking like uh, Schmidt might have blocked all of this here. And gain a power out of it. Yep. Look at that. I mean, it helps when you roll a bunch of crits. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's an incredible roll. Five successes on three dice and uh, and, con and a conversion in there. Wow, like that's, that's quite the spike. Um, geez, Louise. Yeah, so I mean, you can't. You can, I mean, it's a great. Both of them were great attacks. So it's nice to see, at least Strange being the one who gets the power. What is he? Why is he? Uh. So we had a crit wild is a stun on Strange, and why is Strange on three power? Because the wild is also a suppression. So we went up yeah, a power and then went it, down a power. Got it, got yeah. it. Wait, I got, wait, 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 I gotta look at Claw's card. I gotta yeah, look at Claw's card. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's, it's so but that's weird stun how on some strange is huge. It's so weird how some suppressives are for each wild, for some suppressives are just lose one power. It's very confusing. And they're uh, both called the same thing? They're both called suppressive? I think so, or maybe one is suppressive and one is suppressive force, or something like that. Uh, it's yeah. very, it's uh, it's very confusing. I wish uh, I'm sure there's a balanced reason for why they separate those two, but I really wish there was just a consistency in there, so it's not. Because every time I do it, every time I play it, everyone's like, "Is it for each wild, or is it? You know, is it like yeah. sap, or is it what is it?" The only one I can know, I only uh, the only one I know off the top of my head is the Cyclops. The old card had the uh, on the Splendor that beam had like a uh, one one you lose one power no matter how many wilds. But now it's been updated to be for right. each. Okay, we've got okay. Ultron activating. Okay, he's trying to try to take out the leader. Uh, okay, so we've got 
Uh, what is the grunts? The grunts. These are the grunts. Right. Okay. I was These like, are what? the grunts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. It's the pretty sub par grunt. We we need that uh, unexpected Ooh. four crit grunt attack. Yeah, I know, right? The uh, we got one damage through though, so um, we're now going with Ultron. Six dice into Red Skull. No cover, I think, because he's a little too far away from the car. I think so too. I think so too. I was just and wondering. Ooh, bad roll. No so he's taking has... three more right there, and incin bleed incinerate. Oof. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, probably, I don't know. You maybe do you just fin you make him not be able to activate? Probably, right? So you just do that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, he's probably too far away for the throw. Although he can just move and throw, I suppose. But you could also bow him in and then kill him. And throw yeah, him. He's, I like. He's got a lot of uh, I like just uh, getting him and bowing Ultron. Maybe I don't know. Like, you can't bow Ultron. Oh yeah, you can't bow. Okay, that's they both kind of like counter each other really well, right? The poison bleed doesn't work on either of them. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and it's like voodoo now. It's like the new voodoo. You can't possess the other voodoo. And yeah, so it's like well, I mean, even the old voodoo did that, but yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. They're robots and they hate meat bags and uh, each other robots. They, they they don't they don't counterattack to each other robot. Yeah, uh, I, but I can't I can't really see much else he would do besides unless he wanted to teleport. But he's got a scroll already, so I don't see a reason to do anything but remove. I mean, whenever I'm I don't have priority or I know I'm not going to have priority, I'm all about trying to murder as best I can because yeah. there's no penalty for killing things before they activate. Okay, so we're seeing uh, another attack probably into... Oh, we're, are, we, are we forcing the bodyguard? We forced the bodyguard into Ultron. There we go. Nice placement of your models there. So now Ultron's attacking Ultron, fueling him up for another act for an activation. And yep. we have uh, mediocre rolls on both sides. Uh, I don't know. Four. Oh, there we go. Four, okay. It, oh, <laughs> we're pretty see. good. There we go. <laughs> All yeah, right. you got three damage through to Ultron. That's pretty nice. Fuels up power. You could uh, bow and throw if you wanted to try and burn. There's no brace. Yep, there it is. Bow and throw. Very unlikely for him to... He's going to throw into his own grunts. <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, he could do that, but also he could just like throw it into red skull if you throw into your own grunts oh he's throwing into his own grunts i'm almost i'm positive because it's one free damage like why would i like would you uh, yeah i i guess <sighs> I, I, it's uh, he's gonna throw he's uh, he's throwing the size three so that the other ultron can't throw it that's four damage going through he has to get the a god roll for for him not to get it i like ah oh man i like but throwing I, into your I, own I grunts you're getting two free damage one on uh red skull who will daze and then one on ultron to just like push him push through even more All right and you don't but the problem is that you just you lose your grunt yeah but you but you but hold on stuff. hold on you lose your grunt but you get back ironbound books that's true but I do you is, get, is enemy is, fact he, or? Gets, he already gets the ironbound books back because of voodoo getting dazed he did it i think hold on or hold on no, no he didn't no, have race he, he threw in a rock red skull that's a bummer I will. That's, that's that's what i thought i mean it's one damage you you play it you play it out if 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 it was different and the grunts came back after the collision happened right right then then i would make sense but there's no reason to waste your grunts at this point you think he doesn't that, really you have think anyone uh, okay so you think they're just more effective shooting four dice attacks yeah i, I would agree yeah at this point i mean, if if he had two damage then i would think about it but you gotta also worry about that because he's got he's gotta get three damage in on the grunts. The grunts still have to roll that dodge roll, so they gotta roll two dice, and it's not likely. But it's four d incoming damage, and he if he gets some god you know roll on his own from his grunts, just feels really bad. So yeah. one damage left on skull. He has to get <laughs> perfect a perfect roll. You 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 do what he did. Yeah, that's that's totally reasonable. Okay, so yeah, Red Skull is uh, done his activation, or like he's dazed. Ultron's done his activation here. So who are we going with next? Um, let's see. Yeah, I think his Ultron, because you look. Is it moved yet? Or yeah, we're doing the Gron attack into into somebody. Probably ult. I don't know who their defenses are. Can't be Ultron. It's uh, gotta be. Sweet. It's it's gotta uh, be into Strange. They'll be into Strange because he's yeah. one three. Yeah. Kind of energy degree. attacks so there it is another wild there but he that can nothing to convert right if you can't convert something 
What do you mean? Like they, the... there was a there was a there was a damage there was a a hit on the Oh my side. bad. Yeah, there was. I'm I'm mixing up attack and defense rolls. All right. Yeah. It's a it was a dicey. It's a kind of I mean, I guess there's not a great target. There are not there are no great targets for Ultron to attack. So like you don't want to attack the other Ultron because they both have a tactics card that basically says <laughs> do not attack Ultron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, at this point, I guess you shoot Strange, even though Strange is really hard to take down. Even with even with energy attacks, that reverse pierce is very strong and it powers him up, which will allow him to do whatever he wants once he activates. And this is the last really threatening activation to Strange at this point because the iron yeah, Olix can be ironbound booked. Yeah, Ironbound booked, he's gonna have to move and attack. Like it's not much. Alright, so we got an attack into Strange, it looks like. Uh, oh, pretty three. decent. Two damage two damage in. Two damage through. Oh, Are we opting for a reroll? He's opting for a reroll, it looks like. Get that get that reverse pierce in, maybe. Alright, I'm just seeing I'm not seeing Oh no! It was a dark rain. It's the dark rain reroll. Uh, that's what we right, saw. Right, right, right. That makes sense. Okay, that makes even more sense. Five. That's huge. Let's see. So I think uh, Schmidt is debating on whether. To, oh, it looks like he's opting to take the damage here. Um, Interesting. Well, he's thinking about it. Let's see. Let's see what he actually yeah. does. Because <laughs> I mean, odds are pretty good that you'd roll. <laughs> he's rerolling equally better, or worse, I guess. In this oh, case, there it is. There it is. Big oof, five damage. Oof. Uh, and he only gets one power for that, yeah. which is unfortunate. But it looks like we might be seeing both leaders go down round two, or, or dazed. Yeah. Uh, we do have a Wong activation coming up, so we might see a heal on Doctor Strange. If he survives it, right? Yeah. Like, uh, was that just the first attack? I or... think that was the... F I think that was the first one from Strange, or from Ultron. But he is out of range four now, so he can't be uh, attacked again by Ultron. Um, what's happening here? Yeah, okay. There's the damage going on. Okay. Oh, he's doing he's doing the bouncing. He maybe he's doing he did, maybe he bumped and I yeah he did, he did bump yeah so he is out of range four of Ultron now so Ultron stuck attacking into Ultron or well he could do the range four on Wong. Yeah, why not punch him? <laughs> he gets uh, he's too far away from uh, Strange. He can't get that extra die. He doesn't have that Asgard defenses anymore. Yeah, that's right. I think that was the second attack. Uh, we're seeing a spender. Uh, I think we spent four power. It must be for a spender here. Yeah, that's the extension protocols. Uh, range three. So you're putting it in Ultron. So he's he's uh, gonna yeah. attack Ultron with the eight dice. Which I assume he's making it into a mystic attack. Yeah, so that double wild count. So he's got oh, wow. three that's blocks. Th fucking three. So he's only taking one. And he'll be thrown. Before damage no, is thrown. No, no explosive force. Yeah, explosive force is also around Ultron. And it's also yeah. every character, not just enemy characters. It's just like the, the uh, Black Panther's, yeah. Black Panthers uh, expender. But he didn't get it, so it doesn't matter. He's All just right. throwing... Throw an Ultron into a, a dumpster. Yep. Let's see if Ultron bounces back. Most likely, we're going to see him just bounce right back onto the point, I would imagine, because the other Ultron is off the point. However, we could. We're going to see a. Well, we can't see a bow. We cannot. We cannot see a bow because they're cannot amazing. bow him. <laughs> cannot bow him. They uh, they have no minds to bow to. Uh, yes, it, that's and, right. Syphilitic or whatever it's called. Yeah, and beam. Yeah, you can't. Uh, there's no encephalus. To, to encephalite. We do have um, a terrain throw, right? I didn't see. I don't think I've seen a terrain throw yet. So, uh, let's like he still could throw that size four in Ultron here. What's That's happening? True, but he's that, he's, that, he's doing up? the the mind control on the Ultron drones instead. <laughs> Wait, can he do that? <laughs> I think so. Right? They're just they're just drones. They're not. They don't have no, the power. Yeah, but they it, it's choose an enemy character to make them move. What's what's he doing with this? This move, he did the he did the. I don't you, know, can't you, you can't bow. You can't you can't you can't bow. Uh, allied characters. 
Oh, hold on. He didn't. Uh, Re- Schmidt is red. He bowed the red Ultron. He's blue. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, lots of I had the confusion too with like uh, lots of dual characters. They, they all look alike. <laughs> yeah, especially when they're all made of paper, like uh, like whatever that standees. All right, so he's healing up Strange. Yep. And, and giving him a power, it looks like. There we go. Uh, yep, so Strange is on five power, so he gonna have a pretty decent activation assuming I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know what Elix is gonna do. <laughs> just set up for next turn I guess, right? You set still up, have yeah. uh, move on to the point, but he can just get like he's just about to strange. get teleported again. Strange hasn't activated yet, I don't think, right? Yeah, I know he hasn't no, so <laughs> if Strange and Lizard are about to go. He's got yeah, double activation. He's gonna totally push Ulik away again. Uh but it won't be as effective this time because Ulik will still have well, have enough power to crushing leap back into the fight. So I mean, let's that's see what still he does. not bad for the fact that he basically neutered an entire round out of that five threat. And when you yeah. only have four models on your team, you can't be letting your you know everyone just disappear. Yeah, he's three five threat models in in on his team. That's pretty. Uh, I don't see, you don't see that very often. Like let alone well, he, bringing five three five threats in your list is kind of like uh, uh, you don't see that like- very often. Looks like he might be opting. He might opt to go for Claw and get the strip the token off of him. Like right now, right now, Ulick is just tying the point. So it's just a zero VP. You know, Steve's not getting a VP off of that, but uh, Strange could move up and double attack Claw if he wanted to. And it probably gets onto the point from there. And then if he takes the takes it, he'll, he'll be up three to one on the extracts, and he'll be up two to zero on the secures. Yeah, which is, so. a, which is very strong scenario presence. Uh, if he if he decides to teleport himself up into Claw. Yeah, looks like that's what he's measuring here. He only needs Claw only has three health points left, and he's got Mystic Defense of three, so nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, and he can he can do a, a number of things. I don't know which one he's doing. I think he's just doing a regular strike yeah, first. Yeah, probably, just to get that power. Got pierced. Uh, it's, that's looking like, and that might be enough. There it is. Uh, that's enough. That's pure, it was a total, total flub on Claw's defenses. Now, let's see. It does give him the ability to move, take a move action to get back on the point when he picks up the scroll. He is yep. uh, okay. What is he doing? I just saw him play recal. So he's, oh, he's recal the other guy's playing recal. And we uh, have one dam, oh. two dam. Sorry, one damage. There we go. Damage going through. Yep. So now we're gonna see a second attack action here. Uh, all right, Ooh, three of the fierce. That 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 should definitely be enough. No matter what he rolls. So that will take him down. Yep. So now let's see if he gets pushed um, off of the secure. Yeah. Which, again, worth it. Three to one. Yeah. Maybe he'll luck out. He does not. (laughs) (laughs) There's been a lot of pushy. These are very pushy scrolls this time. Yeah, exactly. Yep. He is at least, he's being pushed. Uh, into range two of voodoo, so we do have some sort of like sacrifice options on the table here, right? And so, with uh, the issue that convocation is going to have next round, though, is that it's looking like uh, now that Stevens activated all his characters, there's no one to be KO'd here, which means that Ironbound Books is not going to be available this next round. Is it not? It comes back only uh, when you're KO. When you KO a model, oh, when you KO, it's just not not days and yeah, KO. just KO. What a shame. Yeah, that's why I was, that's why I was hyping up that that throw into your grunts. Uh, I think. Although again, I I don't know how much how valuable books are in this matchup. Just be, I mean, it makes sense to bring it when he brought it, but like at yeah. this point, he's only facing most of the most imposing attacks are energy. Yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, I I see. There's a bit. There's a mix of both. 
Let's yeah. see. When, when he gets a one shot by a physical attack, I'm going to say, I told you so. I mean, sure. I, I, New Look is the only one you're, you're worried about. Yeah. I, yeah. Mean, I mean, sure. The MCP dice can MCP dice, but nobody's like, you know, breaking their back over Red Skull's five dice. We're seeing a uh, Sonic Shockwave Beam, seven dice energy attack into both Strange and Voodoo. It's got a Wild Pierce on it as well. And uh, there we go. It, it also destroys all size two terrain under the beam, but uh, that's it's not like, happening. It's a, it's a weak whisper. Yeah. No reroll on this one, so a little different than Black Bolt. Less dice. Yeah, less dice. Weak whisper. I mean, but he's only five threat, unlike Black Bolt, who's... Uh, <laughs> What, what threat is he? <laughs> Ten? <laughs> well, we've got a sacrifice, so it's, uh, it means that one of these characters are going to dodge the beam altogether. It looks like it's going into Strange. Yeah, and he's got the double wild. Look at that. That was... Uh, Perfect. <laughs> we have a pierce, though. So the pierce gets rid of one of the wilds. Correct. Let's see if he uh, is able to... Yeah, this is the timing chart here. Refer to the attack timing chart here. That's very important for this step. Yeah. Uh, what are we? So, I'm so confused. Yeah, oh. so he, he pierces it. He's got one block, and then he then he then he removes one of his attacks. So then it should be two damage. Imagine. You can't no modify. Way. Hold on. What's you, the sacrifice? Didn't let you modify dice, so he couldn't do like a strange reroll or anything like that. He no, well, and, any, the, and the reroll would have happened yeah, after all the piercing yeah. happened. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see exactly now. Now I'm all caught up. All right, so we have a couple of successes into Strange. This time, he can reroll his dice if he wants, but he's take. Oh, he he might have to because it looks like he's dying if he doesn't. Because now he's because with the Pierce. Yeah. He's going to only have two, so there's really no reason not to reroll. Unless he had cover. There's the yeah. Of, well, that's of, fair. He could. He. Uh, I would have. Uh, it's close, but he dies. Is this one not into an attack into Voodoo? I thought it was the second beam attack because of the sacrifice. Uh, I guess I'm. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought there was already an attack. Yeah, that was, this is a second attack into Voodoo. All right. Yeah, because he. It looks like he. He bounced into cover, which makes sense. He's within one, and I can definitely see a line that goes that goes through this car. So he had an extra, he had an extra block in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pierce. Yeah. I see. Now they just they went right to the next step pretty quickly. So I uh, I was a little behind. Okay. We do. It's I a lot easier when you're talking to each other and you're just saying the things that I they already know that they clearly know their build their stuff, which is kind of amazing to me because I always thought of Schmidt as an Avengers player and he's just swapped to combo. Yeah. Like late in the season. I saw, I follow his YouTube videos where he talks about it and uh, he's, uh, he puts a lot of thought into it and he's, he's played a lot of Sam Avengers. So, now we're seeing like clear flexibility here. You can go either way depending on who he's playing against. But uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, so that's that's interesting. We when I it. played him in the league, he was playing, still playing Sam Avengers. Yeah. Uh, now I don't want to face him. I don't want to face against complication. <laughs> Sounds like a nightmare. This looks like a lot of fun. Uh, this looks like a lot <laughs> of fun. I was gonna play. I'm. I was in between like a convocation list, similar to what Schmidt has here. And uh, and a brotherhood list going into my uh, tournament games on Saturday that I'm playing in person. So, um, but ultimately, I think I've locked in on brotherhood. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I didn't mention the score before, but end of round three, we're at seven four Schmid. So he's uh, still like look, looks like a five five round game is what it's tracking on, but that that could change depending on who grabs what and. Yeah, and it's a tough decision right now because he's got Voodoo, who's pretty much one activation away from being removed from the board. Uh, but then he's got Strange on one, holding an extract. And there's not too much that that uh, Steven can do against Strange at the moment. But I don't know. You know, Eula can get pretty far. I don't see a, I haven't seen them do the measurement to see if he can get there. But he can definitely move and Crushing Leap. To strange, yeah. Whether uh, that's worth it for one VP, I don't know. But 
I'm thinking you just like double spender with Voodoo here and and Claw and try to get him off the board. Just so that you you're probably trading models, but like at least uh, um, it's, uh, it's it's tricky, right? Because like uh, you need like Schmidt only has three damage dealers because Ryan, oh, sorry, Wong and Lizard aren't uh, won't do that for him. Yeah. And and Steven has all four of his characters can put out a decent amount of output. So tra- trading one for one is like on good on paper when you've got more models, but it uh, I mean it might be a problem. Pretty- it's still pretty good to remove Claw from the board. You're not removing anyone else. I don't think you're really... Them and, and Skull are the only two that you can remove. Clearly, because they're also the ones who are sitting around being... But uh, Skull is very hard to kill now because of El Hydra. Yeah. So it'll be very hard to get there. He can activate Voodoo and Spender into... Oh, he's not doing it. He's going with Ultron. Uh, he could have activated Voodoo and Spender into... Um, Claw and potentially just wipe him off the board. Yeah, but looks like he's going after going with Ultron. His Ultron instead. Neither of the two options we've mentioned. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah the, uh, the clearly he has other ideas here. So we've got four dice attack into a three energy. Could be could be Ulic or That's Skull. Three. Taking it the on three. Skull. Yep. Interesting. I guess you, you don't spend the power to sack. I mean, he's got plenty of power. Yeah. Well, he's definitely going to do it now. I, I, th- I'm, I think... Hmm. He's doing a spender now with Ultron. So he, he diverted it. Yeah, he do, he's Ulix taking this one. So he's looking yeah. for the before damage throw into, into Red Skull, probably, right? Yeah, That I could imagine. get you. And did not did not get the wild, so... Oh, it, it's a wild trigger? I thought it was... Oh, okay. no, no. It's the explosive force. It's the wild trigger. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I see. Nah, it's, it's, so, boom, that was a huge hit on Ulic. Wow, the Ultron is like... Oh, man, Ultron's awesome. <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, so he's going to throw into Red Skull, who's going to be taking uh, damage here. Let's see what he dodges. Poor I think... Am I seeing... What am I seeing on Schmid's roll here? The two? Oh, maybe they messed something up in the roll and they re-rolled something, or maybe they <laughs> forgot to pop something? I don't know. Sometimes you do that where you just roll two dice because you're just, like, trying to correct whatever damage is being done. But Ulick has taken five damage. Oh, what the heck? Took he took uh... Oh, he threw... I think he threw oh, it yeah. He did. It looks like he did, yeah. He threw into the Ultron drones. He tried to I blow did. up his. Uh, the, he tried to blow up. Ult- he rolled his own. He threw into his own Ultron drones. Yeah, yeah. Try to blow them up. And again, very hard to make that happen with just a size three. To be perfectly honest. Oh, but he does daze Ulik here. That's uh, wow. That's huge. That is That's huge. huge. Shutting down that activation. It's before damage is dealt, so that throw should still happen though. Uh, so he see. could still throw him into. It's a skull. If he elects to, it's a may, I believe. Well, I mean, you could. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's not a may, but. Uh, no, it's not a may, but you could throw it. If into there were, the... we're doing. I'm not okay. Well, they've. I mean, they've moved on. Yeah, he could have thrown it into the car. Could have thrown him into the car. But yeah, he. Yeah, he could have thrown him the car. We. We. You don't want to correct on something like that because there's so many decision makes that that could happen there. That makes sense. Like yeah. you, after he moves on, they move so fast, and then you come in and you say, "Oh, by the way, this," and they're like, oh, "Okay, well, let's do another size three throw into skull." Um, if I was a table judge and on there, I probably would try to swoop in there a little quicker. If I if I caught it, but they move so fast, even as a table judge, you might miss that unless you've got. The, You've got the uh, cards memorized. And if it was Claw doing it, I, I wouldn't have caught it because I'm still trying to look at his card. <laughs> We've got Red Skull teleporting himself, it looks like. And he's looking to do a Spender and a Strange, I would imagine, here. Yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, I think uh, he's a little tight on placement, though. You have to, like, you're going to have to shove that character into the middle of the, between those two characters. Uh-oh. Oh, he's letting him do a little bit of a takesies backsies here. 
I think you would have yeah. been fine anyway. Like the thing is, my understanding of the ruling. There we go. He's there. It's clean. But my understanding is that you just put the tool down, and as long as your model is touching anywhere on the tool, that's a legal place. No, there's a. Uh, is that incorrect? Uh, the placement. Placement. Uh, I have to think about that one. I think I the. Think, the it doesn't I, no, that is, that is not correct. That is not correct. Okay. That's not correct because yeah. if you use the uh, what that the hypotenuse theory theorem. If you go off the the corner of your placement tool, you actually get beyond range two, if that makes sense. No, I, I, so I understand that. However, the rules don't specify uh, the way they are specific with pushes and throws. Right, but they do specify that they have to be placed within range two. So if you place it on the corner of your range two template, you are no longer placing within range two. You're placing beyond range two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you see, do you see if, if like do you see like my like issue it's like prove it all right you've moved the model it's like now prove I mean, they were there prove they were i'm moving. proving it i'm proving it with math i know i i uh. totally i understand but also it's like it's so um it would make things a lot easier smoother if the way it worked was the way i think it should work <laughs> sure and and like they're playing as I, and i would do the same thing that shimid probably a lot of them do which is like just just you know place it how you want it's within two make it work and there goes so, voodoo. Uh, there, there goes voodoo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I expected voodoo or strange to not be around anymore. Now, potentially both. Yeah, this is really interesting because if he dazes uh, voodoo here, he is going to have priority next turn. Sorry, if he do if he dazes strange here, he's going to have priority next turn to continue uh, his game, his attrition game plan. Um, Without a leader, but still with three, probably without a leader, but with still three five threat characters. And honestly, I think that throw into the Ultron drones was a big misplay because, again, it was being way too cute. Way too yeah. cute. You throw into you throw into Red throw, Skull there. Yeah. You throw into Red Skull like you throw into Red Skull twice if you get if you're doing two spenders. Like you don't need to do. You don't need to do what you did. I'm and what you did there with the trying to blow up the drones in order to get one extra damage or whatever damage into you like that just doesn't it's not worth it yeah now that you say that i think it might have just been a builder and on the second attack by correct Ultron. yeah that's so, what i was thinking too yeah but even still like the throw into the drones was like and i was talking about this with one of my friends about this where they're talking about cute ways to play with ultron yeah and like throwing buildings into the drones in order for them to blow up so they can deal the the, the splash damage and i'm like it you know it's <laughs> all well and good but you still have to do that dodge roll and if you don't get the and it's still two dice and you still have to get three damage through it's not as easy as you think and you can very easily mess up that play yeah and I think that's just. Uh, I think eventually, people people who play Ultron will realize you just don't try to get too cute. Just... I, it's it's funny that we were saying that. Like, uh, <laughs> you totally have a. I told you so on me because I was saying, oh, throw that size three building into the grunts and do all these cool things and being cute with it. And then he does throw a size three character into the grunts, and he got the two blocks exactly. <laughs> what yeah. you said uh so it's really funny that uh, that what i said oh no that wouldn't happen and it, it does happen <laughs> it did happen <laughs> it happens i mean yeah. i've seen you know normal grunts who roll one die hit a crit and then that crit turns into a, a block and then suddenly they're blocking two when you just expect them to just die yeah. and it just happens dice or dice you just take take the better play this is quite the cluster here in the middle of the board oh, my gosh Red Skull one in it being a great spot here to continue to reverse bodyguard. So let's see if he, uh, let's see what Wong does here. Pick up the scroll. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Just like run <laughs> get, away. Maintain the well. He can't run away because he needs a double move. But just try to run away. I mean, just you know, st keep the VP advantage at that at this point. Yeah, yeah. You do have you do have two scrolls with a third scroll coming up here and. Uh, and still holding uh so so if with with that with the with that play essentially you have three to one on the extracts and he'll have one to one on the secures so he'll still be pulling ahead on the scenario yeah and the attrition is not too bad but you know it's getting pretty getting pretty dicey on what schmidt can do in well, we are going to see Ironbound books go online, though, right? It's because uh, the Fudu was KO'd. 
Correct. And so yeah, we're gonna see. Let's yeah, let's see if one gets pushed here. Uh, it's Ultron. Ultron on Steven's side doesn't. Three dice, baby. A, well, Wong buff. Wong buff yeah, in action Wong, right now. Let's see. Let's see him get it. Nah, he gets. Pushed. Oh, he doesn't. Gets Ultron <laughs> is holding a scroll as well, so it's like he can't hit the portal unless he's dropping the the extract, which would. I think would not be a great idea, but this is going to put them in uh, Wong in bow range, most likely. So Wong's coming right over, and he's probably going to get hit pretty hard, I think, here. So yeah. the Ultron drone measuring. And the here's the thing, though, is that do you attack Wong with the Ultron drones because you're uh, gonna, he's going to bounce out of range 4 of Ultron? What do you, wait, what do you mean? Like, if, if the Ultron drones attack Wong, Wong can and hit him for any damage. Wong can do the, the bounce, and he'll be outside of range 4 of of uh, Ultron, so Ultron would have to take a move action. And we're seeing a bow, we're seeing some sort of bow. I think we're seeing the bow. Yeah. Uh, I don't to know prevent why he's, that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why he's pulled the away yeah. tool up. It's uh, omnidirectional, but... He just wanted to make sure he got closer. That's how it was. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay, so he... Hold on. Are we right. Are we sure uh, we... What is going on now? He can't bow and then attack with the Ultron drones. Um, okay, so should we, like, jump in there? Should, like, how did, how did Wong move twice? Um, I'm not entirely certain why Wong moved twice. Should we ask? You could ask, definitely. That seems like a, a really weird. Um... That'll tell us. Yeah. Claw. Okay. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. So look at that. If, we, if only we knew his card. Wait, wait, let me look at Claw's card again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so he won ended his activation. That's crazy. That was a good combo there. Yeah. Um, all right. I, I'm a believer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is um. I've seen two games of cl with Claw, and this is the uh, most effective use of Claw I've ever seen. Um. So yeah, that's is um. This is really he's, cool. He's bumping him over for reasons. I guess it doesn't really there was, matter. I think I don't know if it mattered. Yeah. Why even do it then? Maybe yeah. so he gets closer. I don't know. Pos positioning for next round. It's very unlikely that Wong survives, but, you know, we'll see. Just need to do two more damage into him. Uh, that's pretty good. Yep, All there right. We go. Yeah. So we've got Ultron. Uh, so no, no one can pick up that scroll. Lizard already mm -hmm. has one. And uh, I mean, Lizard could teleport, I guess, right? And then pick up that scroll if he wanted to. No, but that Liz seems pretty Lizard, complicated. Lizard, Lizard already has a scroll. So. Yeah, so I mean, but if he hits the portal, he drops it, right? So, like, there's really, I don't see a huge benefit to doing that at all. But yeah, there's, there's none. Um, there's yeah. absolutely none. I mean, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> I mean, he's going to get two. Lizard's getting two VPs. I mean, I yeah. guess you could do it so that you pop over there. And then get the. I think the argument uh, would be to pop over there, grab that scroll, and then grab, and then go back onto the portal. So you're like you're close by, and if anyone wants to grab that scroll, like basically you're taking it away from Claw being able to pick it up uh, during his activation because right. someone would and, have to and, move and, towards and stealing a VP because he's healthy and Claw's injured. Yeah. Uh, that was a smart play to bow the drones away before attacking them so that they don't just kill um red skull yeah that's red skull nice outright and he is taking damage on his own character though on claw but not Perhaps the end of the world claw can uh heal himself too anyway right so it's like it's probably fine yeah gets him the power or does it get him the power cuz he did it Probably gets him the power. No, the, it does give him the power because yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's the drones thing, even yeah. if it's mandatory. And even though he did it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, let me, I mean, we can look at it. So there's two 
Two to one on secures. He's attacking somebody. Ultron uh, probably. Paid four for a spender into Ultron. Yeah, I would imagine. Throw him four. off the point so that he can get that point now. Yeah. Damn, Ultron with that displacement. The two, you can displace three characters if you're maxed out on power, right? Two spenders and a, uh, a two spenders and the the what's it called? The bow. Wow. Yeah. The encephalo beam. Oh, yeah, what's it actually called? Encephalo beam. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so this is turning out to be actually a very what was looking to be very strong for Schmidt is actually turning into a very strong round for Steven. So maybe maybe you are right. Maybe it makes more sense to just drop that. Ooh, he uh, loses scroll. Red Skull though. Oh, how did he lose him? That did that. Oh, explosive force. Oh, he got the yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it killed it killed the salty, killing all his characters. Yep. And. Well, he's he's brutal, brutal against his own people. <laughs> what? A, wow, wow. What um? What are we seeing here, though? What's this um? This short advance here. Um, that is against one of his own people. Oh, is it? You push them push, away. Push, you push them all away and do it's damage. Push, push from yeah, the, it's the Panther thing. Panther thing, and you can't you can't push uh, dazed characters. There also should be damage on the drones. Yeah, are we not seeing that yet? Um. We're not seeing that yet. Right? Am I reading that right? Yeah. Ultron's in there, but it should be push characters or suffer one damage. Yeah. So the drone should the drone should have one damage on them. I'm sure that there we go. We Schmid, got it. Schmidt does not want to see that. <laughs> Like, yeah, no, it's, no, it's, no! You keep it, keep it, keep it. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's it's kind of like a, it's interesting when you have to like it's like someone just gets rocked by an absolute like monster attack, right? And then it's like they're living on one or two or low or something like that, and it's like you have to remind them about a mandatory trigger that like will kill the model. It's just like uh, you're you're like roller coaster of emotions, thinking you survived the roll, only to be reminded by the accuser that your character did not. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, your your play that you're talking about isn't the 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 silliest play in the world. It doesn't uh, look like he's looks doing like it. he looks like he did. He opted to just stay there, though. Yeah, because because it would deny. It's worth denying the point from Steven. but otherwise, they're. I think they're just moving even three to three. Otherwise, yeah, which is still in the favor of Schmid. Uh, he's got. You know, assuming Steven doesn't just straight out get murked, this this uh at the top of this at uh, the first activation, uh he's definitely ahead on the attrition and he's ahead on scenario, which is usually a good sign. And he's got Brace still uh, online. He's still got that Bane and Dumbala, which is doesn't really matter at this point because everyone's got tons of power. Yeah, so we do have priority going with uh, Steven here. So he's going to look, he's looking at uh, maybe dazing Ultron this round is like going to be the, uh, it's going to keep all of his characters on the board, or like his three characters yeah. remaining on the board. It's probably what I'd be looking at doing. Strange Although with well, he, the books. I mean, the books that make this kind of tough. The books make it tough. So you look as you look as attack is isn't as strong although he's got tons of power to do to put an activated token oh yeah on somebody. that would be pretty nasty uh but also if he doesn't go with claw right now then he's giving up that extract and potentially claws activation i mean six powers is still hard to get through onto claw to be perfectly honest yeah and uh let's see. yeah so it would have to be i'm looking at like ultron can't attack claw really because Claw's rolling. Here we go. We're yeah. going with Claw. Claw's, so, Claw's going first. Yeah, Makes that sense. high energy defense, five energy defense on Claw makes uh, attacking with Ultron uh, not the best. Uh, Interesting that he picked up first. Um, he I mean, got it lucky, matter, though. Yeah, he got it. Because he got lucky. Uh, but interesting because I would have thought that he would have tried to do what he needed to do, and then he could always pick up whenever he wanted to, uh, as opposed to, you know, now... Well, I mean, now he didn't get pushed. So it didn't matter. But yeah, yeah. It would have been a one attack game. Now he's going to try to remove Wong from the game. 
three, so that he's going to suppress Wong for each power. Wong's going to lose three power, take a damage. Yep. Oof. That's fine. That's actually... I mean, if that's if he's using his five threat to do one damage into Wong... And we're going to bounce. A, it's, it's, a yeah. net, it's a net win for... Uh, for Schmidt here. Yeah. Like, like at this point, Steven needs to get scenario. He needs to... He can't just maintain parity. He's three behind. Uh, and he's behind... And he's... He got parity on extracts. So, he needs to do something. If he loses Claw, it's... I don't know. I don't see what he can do to win... To come back into this game. We're paying three power on... We're playing five power on Claw? How do... I'm trying to... Is he doing a beam? This. No, he's doing... The beam into... He... He's, uh... Healing. He paid two for the heal. Yeah. What else? And that was it. He had four power. So he had four power. So he just paid two for the heal, and he's staying there. Yeah. Okay. He because he needs claw to survive. Although, yeah, it's tough. You don't the the like the impatient part of me is like like go with strange and do what you can into claw, but he doesn't need to rush into into strange with strange. Um, and... You know, you know what I just realized is that uh, there. This map usually has a building there. I did like what happened to the building? Did they like delete it off the map before they started? <laughs> Pro. Uh, maybe maybe it got fixed because that seems weird. I remember seeing. Uh, I remember seeing a new building there like a week ago. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter, but uh, it's interesting. It's fine. Yeah, it, it's, we're moving it, it's on. Fine, move it on. I don't. I didn't. I don't think I saw it when it got when it got spawned. Yeah, I so. don't think so either. It would be funny if they were both like, I hate this building. Do you want to delete it? Yeah, yeah let's delete it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it hasn't impacted the game at all if if it was there. Yeah. So, I mean, like, the, the instinct is that you want to go with Strange. But I don't know if that's the right play at this point. I he's feel got like... cover. He's got cover there, and he's got the uh, Ironbound books up. I think you, you keep him there. The books. He can get more power. If he gets even just a little more power, he can do even more. Like, you want him... You want him to kind of, like, swoop in and kill that, that Claw. That's really what you want him to do. You want yeah. him to swoop in and kill Claw, but you can do it at any time, because Claw's now activated. Yeah, the only thing I'm seeing here is that Ulic uh, could get that... Um, that like jump, that jumping ability plus a spender into strange for a a it could activate him, but it definitely staggers him. Uh, well, does the jump get him close enough for the? It's like a, the it's a three? it's like a range five net uh, like distance. I like so I I mean I'm pretty confident he's gonna get he could get to strange there yeah. if he wanted to. The only thing is that Wong, like you, if uh, strange survives that attack and he doesn't get the activated token. Wong could just remove the stagger. Yes. Um, so let's see, because he only needs one power Correct. to do that. So he, uh, so that we'd probably see that in response. So you're really looking for that activated token. Um, right. Yeah. I, I, it's one. He needs to be able to move three, be within three. He should probably can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, and and that would be Ulix activation. Like Ulix activation has to be to like basically charge. After, because the chart, because the the jump requires him to do the pounder's attack. He can't, oh, like, okay. He can't jump and do the spender. He has to jump and do a pounder's attack, and then do the spender. Gotcha. It's part of. But that. it looks okay. like he's trying to re remove models. Yeah. So we have. Oh, if the Ultron drones must be with that roll for. I think. What am I? No, sorry. Uh, my bad. This is uh. Ultron. This is Ultron Wong. drones are attacking. Is this, is this Wong attacking? Oh, uh, I don't know, but it's a oh, he's doing a, he's doing a doing <laughs> I think it's coming from Wong. Yeah, it it is because he paid the power. Yeah, and he dealt the damage and was it and put a bane and why not? That's nice. Okay, what's the range on on bane of the Range two around the target. Range okay. two around the target. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say. Technically, those drones would get rooted too if they were close enough. <laughs> <laughs> even though it doesn't matter yeah. but it's still it still is okay so ultron is spending two power what am we seeing here what am i actually seeing? this is those, actually ro the... rooting the rooting the drones would matter he's, he's healing i think he's healing oh no sorry wong is healing uh 
he... Yeah, he spent two power on Wong. One power to use Bane of Dambala. One power to heal his Ultron. Got it. That makes sense. I think. So, so the reason why I yeah. mentioned that being important, because if you can root characters, so if you can root the drones, the drones can't use rough around the edges. Oh, wow. That's um, Is that the type of thing that blows them up? Yeah, it's a reactive ability. Oh, and, and it costs zero, zero power. power. Yeah, and they, they don't get power, so that's pretty cute. But yeah. Uh, good tech there. <laughs> See, that's that's what that's what the tech is right there. Yeah. Um but all right, I we're seeing four power on Ulik. He's rooted, so here we go, crushing leap. So still enough distance to get to Yeah, he, he can get wherever he wants. I mean he's at this point, this is all he's really done for the entire game, so he needs to do it. Yeah, that is very fair. He literally, he's only walked the entire game. Oh, he did a raw control early on, but it didn't convert. It converted like four damage on Voodoo, though. So Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying he's been useless, but, yeah. but he, hasn't yeah. been, he hasn't been the most effective five. Like the five, Ultron and Claw have been holding down the fort. That's totally fair. So the key thing here will be like uh, the pushing. You'll need to push your character into a spot where Doctor Strange can't bump out of the spender if that's what he's looking to do. I don't even know if that's possible. Ooh. Because it's a place. Uh, all right, you so can play anywhere. We've got a... Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, he's rolling six. He's rolling five dice, though. So Yeah. Oh, well, you can't bump if you don't get... <laughs> yeah, don't there you get go. Hit. <laughs> he probably wants to take the one damage because if he gets bumped, there's nothing he could do. Well, is the spender range three or range two? Is it range two? Range two. Oh range yeah, two. so you really uh, getting that bump would have saved him uh, from taking the spender here. So this he is needs what's to get happening. A crit, a crit, wild hit, and a skull. Okay. In order, in order to get the activated token on him. Uh, the wild can pierce it though. So what is the? So after the. Yeah, so you can con you can stop this if you get a wild. If you like, you just Correct. find the one where he's weak on. Obviously, you can't change his skull, but if he only rolls one hit here, he can take the way away the hit. Or one wild, or exactly. one crit. And there's the where's one wild. <laughs> okay, but holy moly, what a roll! Uh, that's a five. Well, he's got the hit hits. and the crit, uh, but he does not get the wild. Oh, so he doesn't have it. But that's seven into that's um that that wild sort of makes him live on one, right? Uh, uh, seven blocked by one, reduced by one takes five. He should take five right now. Yeah, yeah. lives on one. Oh my gosh, that's wild! Literally. Well, I guess he's going with up, going with strange now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and he, and he can bump, five. so he can probably. He is staggered. He, he is staggered too, though. So that's uh. He is staggered. Uh, but he's got placement. Um, he's just got to really think about what he wants to do with Strange in his next activation because it's his it's his last activation with Strange. So he needs to think: Does he want to like do a range three play? Like he can place. He can place Ulick off to the corner of the bo edge of the board. Yeah. He can then place himself next to. Uh, claw then he can attack claw and then if he gets too power he can place he can place claw i do like the place on ulik on the board edge because ulik needs four power for the crushing leap and he's only gonna have three power at the next power phase because like the like that root is gonna mess him up so putting ulik right. on the edge of the board means he's double walking uh, so that's what i would like to see out of uh, dr strange i don't i don't know if he really needs to bump at all he might do it because you feel like you want to but i don't think he needs to and yeah he can just, i agree unless he's just gonna bump port you oh. and then just like run away so he keeps his leadership alive but i think he's gonna just do the bump because you're just inclined to do those things oh no no he's moving a little bit but he's just trying to keep it within two okay i think all right schmid schmid <laughs> schmid's up schmid's on our wavelength he's got it he's yeah, got it exactly that's yeah this seems like the the right play there just to get a little closer to the point gives you let's see here's yeah this is yeah, there exactly, it is there it is exactly what you want to see it does shut this down shuts why, down my character this is why you bring strange this, that means this character is basically doing nada this next round. Yep. What so, are you doing, man? What, what, what do you does care he have about left? He friends? has no one else left to activate on Steven's side, so he's... Ah, uh, man. Are you... 
Oh, Steven, Steven's activated out. Yeah, he's at, so you do, you can't, you can place Ultron. You could like double, take that middle. No, you just go to the point, you attack somebody who you think you're going to get two power off of, and then you port uh, Claw away. Yeah. And is that, I'm just trying to like look at the math here. If you kill Claw here, you, you win. Uh, if you, mm, you have no, to. he's going after okay. the drones. He wants the, he wants the two power from the drones. He could he could score out here with three intrusion portals. Uh, yeah, but he's not gonna kill Claw. He has to kill. Attack. He has to kill Ultron. Okay, so he's got. Yeah, okay, he's got I see three, of the, three of the. Pierce. Oh yeah, That'll right, right. Him. He's staggered. He's staggered. Yeah, so he's he's it contesting. The power. Then Claw goes away. Yeah. And now he has the point. And then Ultron should be can... gaining power for that, right? If you take damage on your drones or something, don't you like gain power? Uh, he, he gains power for that's that's Nick Fury. He gains power when they blow up and the damage oh. every character is damaged by the drones. He gains power oh, only from. when only the explosion gets Ultron more power. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so all uh, so. Steven is out, uh, well, Strange is out of actions here. We've got Ultron and Lizard to go. And we're looking at four, one, two, three, four points right now. Yeah. So he was, I saw measurement. Did, I don't, I don't remember if, Ult, yeah, Ultron didn't actually go. That's right. That's, it was weird that it was activated. So he has Ultron left. Oh, okay. There, oh, there we go. That, that makes that, a lot that more sense. sense. Yeah, okay. Right. Like, it's a lot closer it's than weird. that. But even still, it's it's pretty strong because he's, he's got to do some... Oh, he's going through the portal. He's dropping the, the scroll. i drop it next to Wong. Makes sense for next next round. Yeah, since, uh, since Schmid's Ultron already has a scroll so he can't pick it up so he's gonna go for the ko on strange it looks like we get a blank so we're getting portaled over to over to lizard almost certainly here yeah he only he yeah and then he has to do it again and hope he doesn't get blank out again because yeah. although i mean maybe you go to the kill kill lizard i don't know kill lizard you could he could if he gets the power he can throw that size four although he's got brace oh look at that schmidt's uh He's letting him die. <laughs> Maybe that's to his benefit. I don't know. I, I think He's that kidding. it's uh, he has he does have book he has books, but it's energy attack, so that doesn't really help. It is uh, unlikely that Strange survives this. Yes, a double a double attack. Um, I think the main thing is you keep him away from the range. The the he's gonna score. Schmidt's gonna score four more points this round, right? Because the two secures two extracts. Correct. So he's going to fourteen, and the, and uh, Steven's going to nine. I feel like this game is over. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, that's gonna probably like that's Schmid's getting four to what one. Yeah. So yeah, he's got he's very comfortable. He can run. He's run away. He's can now run away with two extracts. So now he's gonna try to port through and either go back to the midpoint to pick up that scroll or try to take out Lizard. Yeah, so looking back at this, like let's see if let's say he is able to Oh, he can't pick up the scroll, right? Does he have enough power? He can't. Yeah, he's got Did he already one. pay? He did... Okay, he already paid. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he got the one. He had he had one but left. But he rolled a skull. Oh man. Oh. Lizard so just going to you put him with Lizard just uh with Lizard and then you throw Lizard throws him off the point. Okay. I don't like that. I think that's a little bit of a uh misplay, well, but um yeah, yeah. I mean, it forces him. If he wants the scroll, he has to spend an action to get the scroll. Oh, that was only one act action to kill. Oh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. He only had one health. Okay, yeah. So right. So now, so now, Schmidt is making him say, "All right, you, if you want that scroll, you have to attack. Otherwise, you're gonna try to kill somebody." So he's gonna Which... attack Wong. It looks like. Yeah. Three into nothing. Wong goes. There we go. Double KO. Um, the books definitely come back. I <laughs> can do the books. Yeah, the. the you don't lose your affiliation or anything. This totally can come back still. Okay, yeah. Um, no, I, I, right now, nobody I can think, pay for it though, because <laughs> they have to be convocation to pay for it. Right now, I think Stephen is uh, is uh, just seeing blood. Like at this point, he's just like, I need to kill things. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, because he because he knows that at this point, he's probably still 
potentially going, you know, nine to fourteen. That's right. Yeah, and it, all it takes is a running away uh, from both these characters, and and if if those characters live, it's over. Because the most you could score is you've got three bodies with two five. You could score five, which would get you to fourteen, assuming Schmidt is able to run away safely with his two extract carriers. So we're definitely in runaway territory here. Um, let's see. Let's see what he does about that. <laughs> this is a pretty intense game. The uh, it was uh, the but Doctor Strange's place abilities has shut down Ulick enough that it's really been it's been pretty much a five on three game. It. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was gonna say. He's basically neutered. I mean, you Ulick has done when he has been able to do stuff. He's done stuff. But he's just been, between being dazed by Ultron and being placed by Strange, he just has not had the efficiency to value being five threat. Yeah. So now the decision, now, yeah, now Schmidt can activate out, do what he wants. It's interesting, yeah, he has to, um, hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm nervous about this. What, what is he doing? He's uh he's only gonna be scoring three points this round. Oh no! It's just what scary. It's very scary. Just, I need you need to score. Up, you need to score pick more. Up that scroll. Pick up that scroll. No, he's uh he's Ultron is a uh, he's already oh, yeah, got he it. He's already got it. So he needs. I think I don't like how he's only scoring. He's throwing into the drone. And he's going to attack Ultron, I guess. Let's see if the... Yeah, there's no way he can block all this. All uh, right. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, exactly enough. Technically, he could. Technically, he, he could. could. But uh, All right. So, oh, it also puts his drones now, out, which is and interesting. Now he gets a drone. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. All right. We got the uh, Ultron drones back exactly where... Like what's with that spot? Why is that spot such like the hot the hot spot? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the, the, with the plainly, the ultra drones are like CGR. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's just you just place it where they can shoot stuff. Don't forget yeah. to remove that damage there, Schmidt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I don't know if it'll. I'm sure they'll know that they're on full health, but yeah, as, um, as soon as damage happens. So okay. Oh, so, oh there point. we go. Duh. Duh. There it is. There it is. Yeah, we, is. We, we're caught up now. We're gonna see a displacement by Lizard on uh, Ultron. Yeah. Perfect. Ultron is a size three. Uh, I'm, I'm like, do you throw into the drone? <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Why? Stop it! Stop being cute with Ultron. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Totally reasonable here. Lizard is the tank is pretty tanky. I mean, they're both. Uh, they've got a lot of health to chew through. I mean, he basically has one activation to win this game at this point. Yeah, exactly. He needs he needs to daze Lizard here um, with Ultron with two. With, yes, uh, and I think that's why Schmid got rid of the dr drones because you're doing energy attacks on the Lizard. It would put likely it would put two damage Probably on the Lizard, two. Yeah, two damage and then on the you're looking at only four damage instead of six. Right, and this Ultron is now uh, uh, out of nowhere. Steven's Ultron is out, out, out of nowhere, and he also just needs. Uh, he basically just he has two attacks, no power. He's got one power. Yeah, uh, and we don't Ulick have a leadership do anymore. Anything. There's no leadership, no bump here. So here's Lizard's just gonna be standing there. Yeah, taking it's basically hits. can Ultron deal uh, six damage to Lizard right now? Because yeah. otherwise, Lizard just runs away. Exactly. I mean, I don't know. Schmidt might, might not do that, but he's played really smart so far. So I, I imagine uh, his expectation is for Lizard to run away. He only needs. He knows he only needs two VPs, and the two VPs are sitting on the characters. Yeah. Also, he needs to uh, secure. Like at the, at the same token, there's an Ultron who at the bottom of the screen for Schmidt. Who at any point just say I own two VPs because I'm where I am and I'm healthy and I've, and you're injured. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is his only out. So let's see if he uh, he rolls it. Okay. There we go. There goes that damage on the drones. Not that I expect. 
That's going to be the target. <laughs> the, uh, the, does he have range 3 on Lizard? Did he see the measurement? Is the Spender range 3? He doesn't have power for Spender. He doesn't have any power. But he, but he, could, he could get the power on the first attack. Right. Uh, it's range 3. I don't know if he has range 3 on Lizard. Doubtful? Uh, but maybe. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if they drop that. No, he doesn't. Definitely not. So he's got... He's got uh, two six dice energy attacks. So what you could see though <laughs> is a spender into the drones. <laughs> well, it it, uh, it. let's see how much. Let's see what happens here. Two blocks on lizard. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so no damage through. You're doing another builder. I think like you're in like a you're That's in game. like the one percent. You're in the one percent yeah. zone here. I think for... you're in the less than one percent at this point. You're like he needs to he needs to deal. Seven damage to Lizard right now. With six dice and damage six reduction. Dice. So he needs to push through eight on a, on a blank. Seven. Well, seven. Or whatever, seven. Whatever. I meant seven, like yeah. he, has to, he has to push seven damage through onto Lizard with six dice. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's moving. He could, Ooh. I mean, what else is he doing? <laughs> yeah, he's got to just throw the dice. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Is... Oh, oh. <laughs> we could, we're seeing I mean, it, maybe. Uh, oh, 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 six. Oh my god, six. That's crazy. Just shy. Oh man, just lives shy. on one. <laughs> that was wild. Chewie's MCP uh, special. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. Bleeding. <laughs> Look at that. Bleeding. Well, that 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 is valuable because that means he has he only has it's basically a stagger. Yeah, he's uh, gonna he's looking for I don't know what yeah, there's nothing to do here. He, he can't he bow can, and throw. He can you could bow the drones away, but that's about it. You throw in... Oh my gosh, dude, you throw the terrain into the drones. And you push the last damage through. Oh my god, this is insane. You could do it if the uh, drones blank out. Well, uh, yeah, but it's only enemy characters suffer damage. Oh, shoot. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm looking okay, at the card. Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn, I was excited for a second there. Right, yeah, you're right. I remember now. But... Um, so he just did it for the for the hell of it, I guess. And he doesn't die anyway. But he puts his drones out. Interesting. Nothing really. To ch nothing really matters here, though. His drones just keep dying at this point. <laughs> Let me put two oh, damage there. Ulik, yeah. yeah, that that bane of Dambala from Wong there. That four dice are into four dice. He pushed through a damage to get it. That's it's crazy how like that Ulik is stuck there because of that. Yeah. Yeah, even if he wasn't stuck there, he still can't do yeah. as much. All right, you gotta go. You gotta go, lizard. Lizard, it's time for you to go. <laughs> so you, else. so he has healing factor before bleed, right? So you're you're looking at just running as far away as possible. Correct. Correct. Um, the, player the issue, effects before non-player effects. So, uh, yeah, nobody can get to lizard if he goes this way because Claw doesn't have a enough power for the beam. If he did want to hit the portal. Yeah, nobody can nobody can reach him. He's yeah. totally so safe. So now Ultron. Now he basically has to one shot Ultron now with uh, with Claw. With Claw, yeah. Which is also, I mean, I, I, we just can saw that there? crazy roll. Uh, I don't know. It's, it looks like it's it's no, it's out. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Well, I mean, I was impressed to see what Red Skull one did in this matchup, but. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they're pull, they're going, they're taking them through the finish line. Yeah, once we, uh, once they put those scores in, we're gonna, we'll just jump in their chat. But I think they're, looks like they're tallying it up right now. I think. Sure. There's no, yeah, there's no real out here. Look at that. He was ported so far. Can he still reach the midline? Oh, look no. at that. He can't. Yeah, he's he was he, the perfect he spot. Was all the, he was all the way at the end at the end as fast as they are. All right. So let's jump into their chat. Well, we should, we should wait, right? And let them just Didn't they didn't they up. go to 16 there? Oh, oh okay. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. right. Okay. Okay. I'll be I'll see you there. Yep. Right, we'll talk after. Hey, yeah. Hey guys, uh, that was uh, that was a really great match. Uh, thanks for letting us stream it. 
Um, Steven, what was, uh, what was your thoughts coming into the match? And, uh, and we haven't seen, I haven't seen Red Skull 1 being played, uh, often enough. Have you been playing him a lot? And what are your thoughts on your squad? Uh, I've been playing him a lot recently. Uh, just trying some stuff out. Um, mostly when, like, the errata happened and everything, I played a bunch of X-Men stuff. And then I was like, well, let me try some Cabal stuff since the new box is coming out. And I ended up liking him a lot with um with Ultron and Ulic, um and Malekith even, and then a lot with the characters with gainers that are in Cabal, like Zola. He's really good with and and other characters. Um, and I've just been tweaking the list a lot recently. Uh, what did you uh? So when you brought your squad, like uh, when you picked out your squad here, have you played this squad before? Like th- seeing three five threats is uh, is mm. not. I don't see that too often. So uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this this squad you brought. This squad I've not tried yet. It was a like theoretical nineteen point that I was like, when I get nineteen, I'll try this and see how it feels. So that's um, when you nineteen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I played the twenty before the twenty. Uh, last time I played it. I ran like um, uh, Skull, Bill, Enchantress, Ghost, Spider, and then one of the fives, just depending on on what I want. Um, and that's that's been pretty good too. But I wanted to, to try this out and see how how good it. Was. Yeah, it was really cool. We I, I we feel like you got a lot of effectiveness out of Ultron and Claw, but then Ulick was uh, uh Schmidt just kept bullying Ulick and not letting him play the mm-hmm. game at all. So Yeah, he's really rude to him. I don't know why. Listen, I had to be. Claw <laughs> was harassing my uh, my voodoo and my I was like, he has three mystic. I'm just gonna blow this guy up and then nope. Yeah he's got a lot of HP. Yeah well the heal too like that's a nice yep. heal. Yeah so Schmidt uh, you um you brought uh Ultron again so the second game in the cuts you've brought Ultron how are you liking him so far? I, I really, lo- I mean, I was thinking today, I was like, 20, that's why I was talking to Steven, <laughs> or 20, I was like, you sure you don't want 20? 20 is like my sweet spot, because you can take a 4 instead of Lizard, right? and mm-hmm. I just feel like the upgrade of like Bill over Lizard or Rhino is like so big, Um, but I wanted to take him, I, I, and I think in Intrusions, he's, he's perfectly fine going to the middle and, and hanging out, Um, I, I was happy with it. I mean, it's still... I didn't know what he was going to take. The thing is, I've never played against Red Skull 1. I mean, I've read him. But he has... He could have went big boys. He had a couple smaller guys he could have went. So, Intrusion Scrolls is an exact... Is a pretty... We're going in, and there's some rolls on both sides of it to... Uh, who knows what's going to happen. Like, I think he missed his first... He missed, We only portaled twice between us. I thought it was just Ultron going yeah. back. We missed both rolls. Yeah. Um... But I, I'm happy with it. You know, I didn't really want to take the potato lizard, but he and he scored a ton of points, so I can't really complain. He scored six on his own, uh, five because he got pushed off in the beginning. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was happy with it. Like, what about uh? So you had a um a spender into Ulick. I think it might have been diverted from Red Skull or something, and you opted to throw mm-hmm. into your own drones. So here's uh, here's here's what I did. Okay, I figured. I threw Ulick into sorry, I did it on purpose. He didn't he didn't bodyguard it. Because I didn't want to bodyguard into something else. Okay. So I spent the Ulick and I knew I get the auto throw. And I was like, okay, if I get the I'm gonna throw them to my drones, and my drones will hopefully explode. <laughs> and so I was gonna throw them into my drones, um, hope they explode. If I get the wild, Red Skull's taking a damage, right? If I get this if I get the wild, Red Skull takes damage. If I hit my drones and kill them, Red Skull takes damage. If I don't kill Ulick, I can get the power. When I drones blow up, they would do like three damage because I think it was the, his drones, Ultron, or his drones, Ulick, and Red Skull. So I get three power. I could spend her again if I wanted and then throw uh, Ulick into Red Skull and, and try to finish him that way. So my goal was to try to double spend her or do a throw or do something. I mean, if you saw there, if my drones blow up, it's like. Massive damage because even then, right? Because if I got the wild and the drones blow up, that's three, two damage, and they did one with their shot. So he was already on two at that point. So I was like, "Hell, we're going, 
we're going deep trying to kill my own guys to do this. It, it, now, I will say, in the end, it was not, I'm glad I got you. Look, I didn't expect to get in the way I did it, especially in like one attack plus the bumps and whatnot. Um, and then he killed his own Red Skull. Yeah. For glory. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I was I was suggesting it earlier in the stream when you had that size three terrain you threw the building. I was like, oh, throw it in the grunts, throw it in the grunts, and you uh, you opted just to throw it. I forget who you threw it into, but uh, Shadow Dude, Marvel. I think that was in the skull. Shadow Marvel That's joined good. me on the cast. Was saying uh, how uh, attacking your own grunts is uh, is a little silly and uh, <laughs> and uh, didn't really pay off for you basically. Well, if I don't roll two blocks on two dice, I think it heavily pays off. Is what <laughs> I'm gonna say. Like it would have been. I mean. It would have been really big if I rolled it that way, I think. I mean, he ended up rolling no blocks on the the building, and so there was some, like, like that's hindsight on that kind of case. Because, yeah, it wouldn't have been guaranteed that Skull died, for sure. But there was a mo- there was a chance in the world that Skull, like, they both died. Or did mm-hmm. it. And so I did it on purpose. Um, those are the kind of plays I love, though. I think that's the fun of... Probably, if I'm... Without going... I don't know. I'll keep asking questions and I'll make a comment. Shadow, do you have any questions? No, I thought that uh, for the most part, uh, it was a very ent- entertaining matchup. Uh, I really, uh, I've seen Red Skull one, but I, I've never seen Claw, so it was enjoyable reading his card over and over again, trying to remember what he <laughs> does. And uh, and I thought that Schmidt, you played a, a, an excellent game. Uh, so much so that I was just like, oh, 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 well, Schmidt should do this. There's no reason you should do this other thing. And then you do this like other other thing. And I'm like, well, I didn't even think about that thing. So clearly you are well-versed in the ways of the wizard. Uh, but I stand, I stand by my point that don't be too cute with the, cl- with the drones. <laughs> just, throw the, just throw it in the skull. Just throw it in the skull. I think um, <laughs> so I, the scrolls, I was bitching this, Steven. Again, I'm complaining because even though I won. I was like, every time I rolled my scrolls, I was like, if I don't get pushed here, I'm going to score a point. And they just kept fucking pushing me. You know? They all were pushing. They were very pushy scrolls. Like, I, I think only one like one or two didn't uh, get pushed. Well, I think Paul didn't get pushed both times he picked it up, and the rest we were getting pushed like crazy. I think he still could have pushed me with... There was like one or two where I was just like, I just want to be on the point. Like, I like the lizard turn one, and I knew that without like anything. I was like, that's a big one, because I hide behind the size four. He only has four models, so he has to kind of let one of them go. Um, and I'm like, oh, you know, that's a point if they don't get pushed off of it. And there's nothing to, like, rebound it. Um, it's also weird because I didn't take eyes, even though I went first. Because it's intrusions, it feels kind of weird because you kind of want to be on the middle anyway. And I feel weird, like, I don't want to, I don't know if I want eyes strange to walk, like, keep him here when I want to kind of get to the intrusion potentially. Um, maybe with Voodoo, I should have just double walked onto the dam point turn one i don't know i thought like voodoo's gonna fuck up the claw did not happen claw. it did pretty well did i think well? yeah he did no he never attacked he did one attack and then he died and then he got ko'd immediately well i just meant that like at least you were able to put some damage into claw that's true. Was important. That's true. Uh, i was i was thought you were going to be potentially bold and move your ultron to grab his scroll, because you, you were blocked by the by, by the by the car to be pushed. Yeah, into and, I even, and I even thought of. I don't want to mess up. I, don't want to mess up. I mean, everyone knows what it looks like. I even thought about it because um, I could have put my drones in a way to like prevent me from going like most directions, right? Because the, the scroll was here. I could have like put my drones here, so I couldn't like go to the or. I could nuzzle up because the car's angled. I could nuzzle up here and I put my drones here. So I, all I could move was like maybe no direction, actually. I might have been totally blocked in there. That's what I thought you were going to do. That's and what I, I was. Well, he picked it up early, didn't he? Or did I even pick it my own? And then I was, too, yeah. own. I was probably too yeah. scared because he had like all that power on pe- his people. And I was like, I'm just going to get blown up by somebody. I also didn't have somebody come back and pick up the back one because of where I placed myself. Maybe I guess Strange could do it. I like the Ulux thing turn one, like rock and roll immediately mm. and up the board. I was like, oh, he's he's a coming for me. Probably my Steven, what was your favorite play in your own if you had to talk about one? What do you feel like that was stream you better um, play this play? The rock and troll thing was fun. I hadn't actually done that before either. Oh, nice. Um 
I just wish he swung a little better when he got there. Yeah. <laughs> but um but yeah, that was really fun. I I would have said my Ultron play if it worked out exactly how I planned it, but my <laughs> favorite play in the end was so after he staggered me, which we were talking, I the reason I re-rolled my eight dice, even though I because I rolled insane block, was trying to fail all of them. So I take a damage so I bump out of his spender range. Mm-hmm. Because he couldn't base to base yeah. me. Um, so then he spended me, and so I had 10 power, and I was like, all right, I can put... And it's, it's what won me the game. I put Ulix here, teleport here, attack the drones instead of Claw, because I know I can do... They have two life left, and I need two power to teleport Claw. And so get the two power, hope, you know, I assumed I was going to get two, and then teleport him back here. And I think that... And just say Strange is going to die. It's fine. But he basically put two of his models out of the game and killed the drones, so they couldn't shoot anything. So that was my like, okay, quote unquote big brain play, I guess. You also, um, you also, uh, Steven's model rolled a blank and you opted to put him on Strange's side of the board rather than on Lizard. I think that was Ultron. Is that yeah. also just because like you're putting him away from the objective, Strange is going to die anyway <laughs> rather than Lizard dying, which would like, could turn yeah, the game? Yeah, he, he had Pryo and I just was like, some, he's going to get him before I get to go anyway. Like, like if, if Strange is there, he has an easy target with like um call to walk up and shoot me potentially. I mean just do one. Or just do the thing with Ultron in the beginning of the turn, just kill me. And so I figure if I just do this, like if no one's standing here, he has nothing to do with Ulick and, and Claw. So so Strange being there just gave him it. And I figured in the points I was doing the math, I was like, all right, I'm probably gonna get four, and then Ultron's standing here, the only way he can win. Even if these two guys could get to the this, they were injured, so they couldn't mess with me here. Ultron can't move my Ultron off the point, so unless you're killing my Ultron, and he had, like, one life on him, um, I was going to win with two points anyway. He would have had to, and his Ultron was here, so he would have had to, like, walk here, teleport next to me. and then But then he's now attacking the Lizard, who would have just done exactly what Lizard did and walked away. So Lizard yeah. was actually one of the hero in the end because he walked, walked through Ultron off the point. Um, yep. And kind of rotated. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think you attacking those drones and killing the drones um, late in the game there t- to uh, prevent uh, Ultron from being able to attack with his drones into Lizard was also uh, was also nice. It, it just it made you that like I mean you probably could have died there with Lizard being living on one health. The one play wasn't too bad either. The one play the, where with I the bane of Dambala, the bane one. I was like, because mm-hmm. that's real. I was trying to find a good place to play earlier in the game. And either forgot or just I never really attacked with my convo guys in the middle. And then Wong was just like, "All right, I just need to roll a hit or something." And then it's really good on. I mean, it didn't matter. It mattered on Ulick because mm-hmm. he couldn't rocket troll. He couldn't do his stupid thing from back here. And it mattered on um, Ultron just because he has so many. Super, he has two really good superpowers that are power hungry. Yeah. Um, but no, it was a very enjoyable game. I'm glad it was bloody. Without CGR, as, as Steve and I said in the beginning, we're like, there's no CGR. There's two Ultrons. The fans, the fans are happy with that. They're here for it. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that was a really great game. Thank you for letting us stream it, and uh, congratulations to Steven for making it pretty deep, like super deep. I mean, there was how many players? Two hundred fifty ish players signed up for the season. I think, if I had to guess, made it to top sixteen. That's uh, that's awesome, and Schmid, you've uh, moved on to the top eight, so congratulations! Uh, Thanks. Thank you for letting let me stream the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it now. So have a great night. All right. Thanks.